In this series, I put every team from A to Z in FC24 career mode into the wheel. And whatever team it lands on, we have to rebuild them in FC24 career mode. This is the second episode, so today we are on the letter B. So, without further ado, I'm going to go spin this wheel and hopefully we can get someone good. Um, there's quite a lot of teams in this one, so let's see. Boca Juniors, Brisbane Raw. Yeah, yes, Brisbane Raw is the team we are using in today's rebuild. This is going to be into the Australian League. I've never had a career mode in there before so it's gonna be interesting so make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new around here we'll jump straight into this rebuild with brisbane raw so there you have it guys brisbane raw are the team we will be rebuilding in today's video Brisbane Raw are currently in the Australian top division where they were previously crowned champions of the A-League in 2014. Current Tottenham manager Ange Postacoglu was once the manager at Brisbane Raw and in today's rebuild we will be looking to bring back glory to Brisbane Raw. Make sure to leave a like, comment your suggestions on any rebuilds you want me to see and without further ado let's get into today's rebuild with Brisbane Raw. That concludes the window for season one and we have made a couple of signings. Low Kemp was the first player we signed from Nuremberg and we also brought in a bold Hendy from uh, OG Nice on loan the 22 year old and as you can see when we scroll through I actually sold a lot well loaned out a lot of players I sold uh, one of our right mids that I was never going to use and we also signed a CDM from uh, Sporting because I needed a bit of squad depth so I'm going to quickly go and show you the squad that we're going to use for season one okay then guys the squad for season one is what you see on the screen we've got the new keeper on loan I kept the back four as the same as what it was when I first loaded it into the save left mid right mid also were already at the club same as the center mid O'Shea uh, a couple of people tried to sign him from me but uh, I wanted to keep him because he is quite good for this team I mean when you look around the ratings aren't really that high obviously the new striker is in the team and then on the bench again a lot of players that are already here and then a few in the reserves so hopefully the main man up top is gonna be a big big help to us this season first season with Brisbane Raw and we're gonna see where we end up in the league so that concludes season one with Brisbane Raw and as you can see on the screen guys we finished 11th in the table out of a possible 12 that is not what you want to see in the first season now judging by that you can tell that we definitely have players that aren't good enough and the squad depth or the squad in general just aren't good enough to challenge for that top spot so without further ado we're going to jump straight into season two and see if we can bring in some better players okay then guys season two one of our first signings of the summer window is going to be ola aina he actually was a free agent in the window i don't know where he was before i think he was at forest i do believe and he must have been released or his contract has expired and he is going to be the first signing for brisbane raw in the summer window now we did need a lot of players because the squad is very very low a lot of players have left on like their contracts has ran out and i obviously did not renew them in time and i completely forgot and now i am suffering in terms of squad depth so i've had to go to the free agents and pick up some players but ola aina is the first player we are bringing in and we're going to carry on with the summer window and hopefully bring in a few more players another signing for brisbane raw in the summer window and it is a center back who looks really really good again unfortunately it is a free agent but i really need to bolster the squad and we we're only limited to a five million pound budget so i didn't really have the funds to bring in uh, anyone on permanent deals i will look at doing that but kevin akpog uma is the next signing for us a massive massive player who's going to go straight into the back line uh, an excellent deal there so we're going to carry on with the summer window and then we're going to go and show you the squad and see where we end up and get ready for season two so then guys the summer window has now come to a close and we have been busy in the window acosta was the first player that we signed on a free as you can see a lot of these players or pretty much all of them are going to be free agents because i really needed to bolster the squad depth which we did lose from players leaving on free contracts because that was my mistake i forgot to renew their contracts the next signing is adams a 19 year old center back also on a free who's gonna pair up with 
with the signing that you did see before in Akpoguma. And that leads us on to the next player. Struski is going into the center attack and mid role. I think the guy that I had, I think he was the captain. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He actually is like 35 and he's only going down in the rating. So I decided to sell, well not sell him. I decided to bench him and bring in another attacking midfielder. Next, we did bring in a right mid. Again, another free agent, but he looks pretty good and we needed to bolster that attack. Ola Aina, again, we had him in the previous part of this video who came in and he's going to go straight into our left back position. The last signing is a goalkeeper I think we need to massively improve Bakchia is going to be the goalkeeper again unfortunately we did sign a lot of free agents as you can see but I think it'll be worth it in the long run and we did sell two players who uh, were actually requesting to leave so I wasn't going to stop them and we collected around one one million or so or just over one million so without further ado I'm going to go show you the squad for season two okay then guys as you can see on the screen this is going to be the starting lineup for season two two the new goalkeeper comes in uh, i think this right back was on loan last season so he's going to slot in because our right back from last season has actually left the club who was one of those players that did leave oh we've got adams at the back obviously alongside Akpoguma, aina at left back Treywin was our left back last season but he can actually play cdm and he was much better than the player that i had previously uh who was getting a pretty old so i actually decided to move him from left back and put him into cdm acosta one of the new signings is going to go into cdm with him and then we're going to stick with the same midfielder on the left and then the new signings uh coming in at right mid and center attack and mid up front is still the striker that we signed last season so all round a massive massive improvement on the squad and as you can see a lot more depth than last season i think we only had about one row of players come the end of the season which was obviously not good for rotation so without further ado we're going to jump straight into season two and see where we end the end of season two is here and a massive massive improvement from last season where we finished 11th and we are in the top four. When you look at the table there, 48 points for Melbourne City, who did win the league. We're only on 42, so we're not actually that far behind. So it's a massive, massive improvement from the first season. So hopefully we can improve on that. Now, obviously, we've got the top six. I don't really know what that means, if it's like a playoff or you qualify for something. I'm not too sure. So I need to figure out what that is ahead of next season. What I want to quickly show you is the squad and the stats for the end of season two. I will be interested to see who performed well and who didn't. So let's go jump into the squad hub. Okay, then, guys, actually not that many goals compared for what I was actually thinking. Uh, at least there are some players that are going up the ratings. We go through and obviously like the players that didn't really play that much are not really doing much. However, we're looking good for next season. We're going to dive into season three now and gonna, we're going to go and sign some more players and hopefully climb the table again and get that top spot. So let's dive into season three. Before we do dive into season three, I've actually realized what the top, what the green green like things actually mean because elimination finals we lost 3-2 and obviously as you can see there Melbourne City are there Melbourne Victory are there so actually getting in the top six you play in a playoff elimination type game and I wonder if that's to see who qualifies for like the Asian Cup or the Asian Champions League which is obviously the main goal of this rebuild so we have to have a look at that one so yeah we will figure that one out but as you can see the end of the season is here season two elimination finals top four finish unfortunately we couldn't qualify through the elimination finals but at least now we know kind of the concept of the league a bit better and we're going to dive straight into season three here we are guys another signing for brisbane raw and here you can see guys the first signing of season three is here a new left mid into the club it's ake on a free because again we need players we need to improve the squad we are lacking in funds and ake really looks good for us and i am gonna bring him in to play left mid the player that is playing left mid right now wants to leave so we are gonna actually get rid of him and replace him with marley ake another signing in the window for season three it's a new striker we needed a new one a current striker isn't really improving and he and i think he wants to leave as well so there we are meeting our new striker who is perez tika another free agent unfortunately because i have been struggling to sign players because every time i find a player that i want to sign from a different club and pay the transfer fee they all don't want to relocate i don't know if it's something about the australian league or australia i don't know why no one wants to relocate that's why i'm only signing free agents because it's impossible to sign anyone that's half decent without them wanting to not 
relocate. So our striker in Perez Tika. And we're going to move on into some more transfer business. That concludes season three transfer window in the summer term. As you can see, Ake was someone that we already brought in. Oliveira up top, a young striker. Atal, which I think is a really good signing on a free. Again, all of these players are going to be on a free, like I explained in the previous part, because no one wants to join. They don't want to relocate and it's really frustrating. Uh, so we're just having to work around that with free agents. I tried to loan players as well and the same thing they just don't want to relocate which is rather annoying and as you can see we did sign one of our backups uh, sell one of our backup strikers and we brought in Perez Tika to play up top and we also so loaned out a Waddingham uh, out because I wanted to get him some experience and hopefully with these improvements we can try and climb up that table and take that top spot so I'm going to go and quickly show you the squad that we're going to rock with for season three okay then guys obviously most of the players are still from last season squad but Atal comes in Perez Tika up top comes in as well and then we also have Ake on the, the left hand side who's a bigger improvement I would say Oliveira is going to go to the bench and we've dropped our uh, low Kemper striker as well so that is what we're gonna rock with for this season and hopefully we can improve on a good top four finish from last season so without further ado let's get straight into season three and would you look at that guys end of season three and we have finished top of the division Brisbane Raw only losing two games and we finish on 52 points now if I do check this elimination final so we do actually have a game to play but right now no one we haven't been matched up with anyone because so i'm guessing we're in the latter stages already because we did in fact win the league without further ado i want to quickly dive into the squad hub and just check the stats for the players and see who stood out and who didn't so i will be right back and as you can see guys Oliveira, the youngster 17 years old up to a 70 overall 13 goals for him ake 10 goals two of the new signs that we did bring in getting in a lot of goals for us this season and that was really really good to see and we'll just slide through a lot of these players are going up the ratings which is really good to see and hopefully we can carry on building like that next season again a lot of players uh we just didn't really use these type of players down the end so without further ado we have an elimination finals game to play so we'll advance to that and then we'll see how we get on okay then guys as you can see here kickoff melbourne c is who we're playing in the semi-finals of the elimination finals that is going to be the team which is pretty much the, is the starting 11 that we had at the start of the season so we're going to actually quick sim this game and see how we get on we lost one nil to melbourne city which is not what you want to see unfortunately i don't think we're going to be progressing any further after melbourne city have beaten us which is a real real shame and unfortunately that is going to conclude season three that means we're going to ha have to jump into season four and hopefully we can try and bolster the squad up to then try and progress in that eliminations final so without further ado let's jump into season four and as you can see guys Oliveira, the 17 year old, has won player of the season for Brisbane Raw. A lot of goals scored for him in his debut season for Brisbane Raw. And as you can see, the ceremony is there. Player of the season for Oliveira, which is really nice to see. Only 17, and we only just signed him on a free agent. So that is really good to see. Unfortunately, I know we finished kind of first, but then we didn't progress in the final elimination finals. So. It's one of them, but it's a really good thing to see. So we're going to dive into season four. Okay, then, guys, we have another signing for season four. And it is a new center attacker mid called Alan, who is going to be playing in that center attacker mid role. The Brazilian comes in on a free agent, of course, because, again, season four, and we still can't sign players because they don't want to relocate, which is really, really getting annoying because I don't really know what else to do. Alan comes in from a free the Brisbane Raw. He's going to be playing the center attacker mid role. And we're going to try and make some more signings to improve the squad. And then I'm going to go through the list of the transfers that we've made. And then I'll show you the squad for season four. So let's get into some more transfers. Here we are, guys. A massive signing for Brisbane Raw. Timio Bakayoko comes in for that CDM role. Again, a free agent. Would you would have you known it? There you go. Bakayoko has joined the club. A really, really good signing for us. He's going to slot straight into that CDM role. And he's going to be the last signing that we are going to make for the season four summer window. So without further ado, I'm going to go show you the highlights of the transfers that we have brought in. 
and then we're going to show you the squad ready for season four. So let's get into the transfer list. Okay then guys, season four squad is in front of you. And as you can see, not much has changed. Well, a couple of players have changed actually. We've got Alan in at center attack and mid. Bakayoko comes in alongside Rossier. He is the new signing who's going to be playing in the center mid role with Bakayoko. Obviously, we did sign some other players uh, in the reserves, Coop Miners. He's probably going to be playing next season after Bakayoko probably comes down the ratings. I am converting Bakayoko into a center mid, uh, same as Coop Miners as well. So that is the team. And we also brought in uh, Altar or Altair is the uh, center back. Basically, next season, I think uh, Akpo Guma is going to probably leave or maybe sit out. So I'm going to swap him out for Altair next season. But for now, that is the squad. Pretty much the same. A couple of new additions in the midfield. So hopefully, that's uh, enough strengthening and we can kind of go on and get through the uh, knockout fi not finals. So without further ado, enough talking. Let's get straight into season four. So then, guys, the end of season four is here and we have won the A-League because this time we've actually gone all the way and won it we are actually in the quarterfinals of the asia continental cup which i i do believe is the champions league or like the the a the continent of asia's champions league but i've got to the end of the season but i've actually don't play the game until august so i need to end the season and then in season five i actually carry on even though it's still season four if you get me so we're in the quarterfinals against al halal wow that's a, gonna be a tough game they are the teams that are still left so we are still in so obviously the group stage we finished second with nine points and then if we want to go over to the a league as you can see we won so finished like first i guess you want to say in the league 61 points is a massive improvement from last season even though we did finish first elimination round straight to the semi-final by the looks of things won 4-2 on penalties and we beat perth glory 4-2 so that is the first trophy in this brisbane raw rebuild i'm really really happy with that There's, the squad that we've got is really good so without further ado still season four but technically rotating into season five we've got the quarterfinals against al halal of the asian champions league so without further ado we're going to roll into that now and see how we can get on in the quarterfinal against al halal here we have it boys is Al Halal versus Brisbane Raw in the quarter final of the Asian Continental Cup. Now, I want to just see, I wonder who they've got in this team. I, I don't know if they're going to have a strong team or not. We're going to simulate this game and hopefully we can beat Al Halal. It's going to be a tough ask because this is Neymar and Mitrovic and co. I don't know if they'll still be there. And we lost 3 0. Wow. Mitrovic actually scored. So we are a, a way off of winning the Asian Continental Cup. So without further ado, with that loss, we're going to dive straight into season five and we're gonna have to sign some more players if we want to compete with the likes of the saudi team so let's get into some transfers and see who we can pick up okay then guys a massive massive signing it's one of the first signings well i think it's like the third signing we've actually spent money finally i paid a release clause for a player I needed a, a, a strong centre mid and I have play, uh, paid the release clause of El Nea and I've paid the release clause of Al Aina who's going to play in the centre mid role next to Rossier and 76 overall, 30 million paid. Again, I know it's probably not the best in terms of how much we've spent but I needed a new player and again, the same thing is happening. I can't sign anyone because they don't want to relocate and it's been a real issue with this rebuild but we are not out of the woods yet because we have still got a lot of time to win that Continental Cup. So that is probably going to be the only signing I'm going to make in this save. Uh, not sorry, in this season because we just spent all our money pretty much. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight in to season six. Okay then guys, end of season six. As you can see, for the first time in this rebuild, we didn't lose a game in the whole season in the, uh, without, before we get to the elimination finals. Uh, if we go across, we lost 2-1 to Perth Glory in the semi-finals and Adelaide went on to win it. If we changed competition to the Continental Cup and it looks like we didn't make it, oh, we didn't make it out of the group stage. We we're level on points with Al Al and unfortunately their goal difference was better by three. Wow, that is a tough one to take. So that means we didn't win anything in season six and we're going to have to try and improve on that. I don't know if we're going to have to bring in more players. It is quite difficult because the players obviously aren't that great to bring in because I can't sign anyone like without being a free agent at this rate. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go into season seven now and see if we can try and improve on this disappointing season. Let's get into season seven. First signing of season seven and it's a big one because it's going to be a new centre-back because I've been looking at the squads in terms of centre-backs and there's no depth 
And to be honest, it's just not really that many good defenders uh, or centre backs at the club right now. So Costa or Helder Costa is the first player we are bringing in. And we're also going to bring in another centre back. So I'm going to quickly show you who that's going to be in the next part of this video. So then guys, his centre back partner is going to be Durant. He is... A, well it's a young defender again a young partnership are going to be at the back so i really 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 hope these two can improve our back line because the center backs that we have right now are just not that good compared to the rest of our team so that is who we have just signed two new center backs into the squad and let's see if we can try and bring in any more players this is going to be the final signing of season seven it is a new right back because atal did retire at the end of last season so without further ado he Ibrahim Diakite is going to be coming in on a free. Funny enough, it is a free agent again that I'm signing. So he will actually slot straight into the starting 11. And I'm going to quickly go and show you the starting 11 for next season. And hopefully we can try and win that Asian Continental Cup. So then guys, we're here at the end of season seven. And as you can see, we are first once again. How many seasons in a row is that now? Absolutely amazing stuff. Elimination finals, obviously we're going straight into the semis. We won 3-1 against Central Coast, which is good to see. Now, into the final when we won 3-0 against Adelaide. That means it is going to be the third league title for Brisbane Raw in this rebuild. That is really, really good. Make sure to leave a like. Comment your suggestions for any other teams you want me to do. And subscribe if you haven't already because... We are going to be bringing out more career mode rebuilds on this channel. But we are not done with this video just yet. We're going to change the competition uh, into the Asia Continental Cup. And we have made it to the quarterfinals. We topped the group with 16 points. Didn't lose one game. Al Halal came to bottom. And didn't even win a game or draw a game. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, this is the preseason tournament. We won that comfortably without losing. Men's International Cup. Oh, okay. That's the one of the tournaments for the national sides but that is really really good to see so we're going to move on into the eighth season but technically it's still season seven we have a quarterfinal game to play and hopefully this could be the season when we finally win the asia continental cup so we're going to get straight into simulation and get to this game or the quarterfinal and see if we can win so without further ado let's get back into the asia continental cup okay then guys the first leg of the quarterfinal is here brisbane raw right then guys brisbane raw here quarterfinals first leg kickoff is upon us we're going to simulate this first one and see if we can win we win 2-1 Oliveira and Jacobs getting the goals that is a really really positive start for us with a 2-1 lead going into the second leg so we're now going to go jump to the second leg and see where or if we can get through into the semi-finals for the first time in this rebuild okay then guys this is the lineup for quarterfinal second leg 2-1 up on aggregate unchanged team can we go on and win this go through for the semi-finals for the first time let's see how we get on and we win 3-2 Ake with two and Oliveira the young talent up top gets the goal 5-3 on aggregate and we're through to the semi-finals for the first time ever in this rebuild okay then guys semi-final first leg against Adelaide hopefully we can win I need I've had to rotate a couple of players because unfortunately we had a pre-season friendly literally just before this game so I've had to rotate hopefully that won't affect us too much I mean we've been smashing Adelaide in the league so first leg let's see how we get on and we win 3-1 Ake and Oliveira with the goals that is really really good and Jacob sorry who got the first goal so 3-1 lead on aggregate going into the second leg so i'm going to jump through into the second leg now and we'll see how we get on right guys unfortunately we've just had to go sign a left back uh a last minute deal because our left back Mar marquez is absolutely knackered and can't play the second leg so i've had to go out and go and get a left back unfortunately so we have to go straight into the second leg with this new player coming in so let's dive into the second leg of the semi-final okay then guys second leg 3-1 on aggregate hopefully we can win that is the team obviously there's a few players that are not fully fit but we just don't have the squad rotation to put on anyone better so i'm hoping the 3-1 aggregate has kind of helped us to hopefully go through to the final for the first time in the asian continental cup we've got a quick sim and see how we get on we draw 2-2 but we do go through 5-3 on aggregate jacobs and Oliveira getting the goals and that guys concludes the semi-final and we are through to the final that's really really good so now i'm going to simulate to whenever the final is and we're going to play that live and hopefully lift that trophy for the very first time so then guys we have made it to the asia continental final jean buck are the team that we are playing 
I don't know what league they are in. I don't know if that's like the K League. I'm guessing. I'm assuming. I just want to quickly show you the team that we will be using. If we go straight into team management. Um, the keeper that we did get on a free. He's been absolutely insane. Look at that. Plus four rating already. Diakite, Adams, Da Costa, Marquez, Rossia, Elena, Jacobs, Alan, Ake, and Oliveira up top. Who's been an absolute beast for us. And obviously we've got a lot of talent on the bench as well if we do need it. So oh, without further ado, guys, we're at the final. Can we finally win this trophy and see how this really really good season for us for a really good rebuild as well three league titles so far and can we get our hands on the trophy let's go into the game and find out here we go Ake now on the charge gonna play up with Oliveira can he play the ball over the top I think he might be offside here and he is here come the opposition now not really much happening in this game ball played across it's a great save by the keeper it's a really really good save can we hit them on the counter attack here Ake lovely feet can we switch that out to Marquez? Yes, we can. Marquez. I mean, Ake has made a really good run here. And so has Oliveira. Oliveira. Oh, I just had to pass it. Ball played down the line by Jacobs. Elena. It's going to run down the line. Can he square it? Can we shoot? It's a goal. Allen scores the goal to put us 1-0 up in the final. It's Allen. From the centre attacker mid roll, look at that! He's just came from out of nowhere. It's a lovely run originally from the centre mids. He was down on the right hand side. I don't know why he was there, but he was. And Allen, left foot into the back of the net. We are now one nil up in this Asian Continental final. Oliveira plays it out to Marquez now. Coming in, there's not really anyone in the box. I'm gonna wait for that run. This is really poor delivery for Marquez. Let me just keep the ball here. A nice pass. Schneider. Elena. Oh, can he play the ball in? I think Jacobs is just on side. Jacobs now. That's inside. Squares it. Can we shoot? Oh, no. That's a great effort. That's a great block by the defender. We're all over the shop here. Santos. Goes past Marquez with ease. Is he going to try and find the cross? It's a good ball in. It's a good header. And we clear it. And Oliveira, can he go past the defender? Oh, no, that's a really, really poor touch from him. The Santos squares it. Good tackle from Da Costa. And again from Da Costa. It's lovely. And this is a great ball played through to Schneider. He's going to cut inside. He's going to play it into Oliveira. Oliveira on the turn. Can he shoot? Oh, it's well wide. Only a couple more minutes left of this final. I mean, it's not been a pretty final, but we are minutes seconds away from winning our first ever asian continental cup one additional minute and it's over we've finally done it brisbane raw win the asia continental cup and it's taken me seven or eight seasons if you want to call it that to finally win the asia continental cup what a moment that is for the players out there Oliveira, the shout out to him the main man up top Obviously, for this game, it was all thanks to Allen who scored that goal to win 1-0. And that is it. Hopefully, we get to see a trophy celebration because that would be really, really epic. And as you can see, Championes, do they line up for a trophy celebration? Yes, they do. Oliveira, number nine. And I just, I'm really, really happy because it was such a hard rebuild for me because personally, only being able to really sign free agents and a couple of random players that really weren't that great but to now win this it is really really special so guys without further ado we're gonna lift the asia continental cup brisbane war raw have won it and without further ado we are gonna end the rebuild there three league titles an asia continental cup you couldn't ask for any more brisbane raw have been rebuilt and are back to success with four trophies Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here for more rebuilds. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.